Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Alicia for those who are tuning in and welcome back to everybody else. So for today's video, we're going to be unboxing Demo Try On on Beauty Bakery. To be honest, I've never heard of this company. The name is so cute. Their packages are so adorable. It's colorful. They smell good. I literally discovered them by just surfing the web and somehow I don't know what I was surfing, but this ad or something popped up and I was like, I have to see what this is all about. What caught my attention was the colorfulness, the cuteness of the package, the name of Beauty Bakery. So everything is like bakery themed. So you have flour to bake, eggs in cartons, and they just have so many things that's so cute and that is food related. So the colors I'm wearing is from the Do It For The Gram palette. Their shadows are dual chrome, which is my first time experiencing them. What have I been waiting for, guys? As you can see, it's a very metallic-y kind of frosty foiled look, and I'm not mad at it. Usually, I don't like to have too many foiled looks in the crease. I usually pair it with a matte. Somehow today, this is what I came up with, and I actually really like it. Before we get started, I just wanted to let you know this is not a makeup tutorial. It's literally me just sitting in front of you guys, unboxing this, and just trying it out for the first time. I also wanted to let you know the next clip was another day when I did the unboxing. So I did the unboxing, which was my initial first reaction to opening the package. And I was doing the application on the eyes and I literally wiped it off and put it on like five times and I just wasn't satisfied with the look. And I think I was just having like one of those days where I had like a makeup block. But let's go ahead and get started with the video. I have been waiting for this package for like I don't know, like close to a month. It's been so long. So I ordered this from Beauty Bakery. I don't know if you noticed, but I did get a little color. I don't know if I got like a sunburn on my scalp because it was literally like 106 degrees at Lake Folsom where we were at for a few days. I mean, I put sunscreen and everything, but I actually didn't think about putting on my head. How do you open this? <gasps> Look how pretty it is. It says, sweet tooth much i love packages that has these knowing the fact it's going to protect my products that comes through the mail let's just so here's our first product it looks like an egg carton so cute it says blending eggs oh soft boiled eggs are the best dip in water squeeze and blend to perfection these are called blending eggs so cute oh I totally forgot I got these. Like I mentioned, package is everything. I'm so happy it actually comes in plastic wrappings for each one. Before I use any of my blenders, I always cleanse them first really well before actually using them. This is a great thing that they actually wrap each individual one. Comes with three pink ones and three turquoise ones. This is actually one of my favorite colors. Ooh, what's this? Cassava, oh my gosh. So cassava is like a Filipino sweet dish or dessert. My mother-in-law makes it for me. It's one of my favorite dishes. And yeah, I could even eat that all day. That is kind of the reason why I picked this color. But again, this color, I believe it was like kind of like a yellow powder so I can use it to brighten under my eyes. So I'm hoping this color will work for me. This whole theme is like baking goods, right? So everything's gonna come in like little packet forms. This is the Better Not Bitter Flour Setting Powder. Baking Tips. Our flour can be applied in two ways. Using a brush, you can use lightly to dust entire face for a matte look. Two, with gentle pressure, use a makeup sponge. Apply the flour onto the T-zone to absorb oils. Oh, it even has like the nutrients here. <laughs> this is such a pretty powder. It's like, I don't want to use it. I just want to like have it for display. So I like how it has like these little wheat like pictures here. So it's like flour. It's nice. It actually has a divider and these holes. Remove the sticker and you can probably apply it to the dish to apply it on. Let's remove some more of this wonderful zigzaggy thing. Ooh, packages everything, guys. I love it. It's like so pretty. Okay, there has to be a way to opening this. Gets a little bit force. Oh, it had a sticker. So you had to remove it and then push it. It'll come right out. Oh, this color is Ginger Snap in the Lip Whip. I believe this is kind of a brown color, a teardrop doe foot applicator, and it has a slant, so it's easy to apply on, and the tip is nice and pointy to use as a liner. Same type of package with their turquoise top. Here's like a nice frost. Love how it is called whip, but you can see it kind of looks like those, you know those lollipops from Disneyland that has like that spiral kind of thing? I forgot the name of it, but this is what it reminds me of. 
Ooh, this smells so good. Lip Whip in the color Cakey. Smells so sweet. The first one didn't really have a scent, so I didn't say nothing or have a reaction. Mmm, I can't wait to use this. This is like Christmas to me because I totally forgot what I got. Oh, this is another matte just like the first one. Ooh, I remember I got a dark color. I hope it's not too dark for me. Raspberry Tiramisu Lip Whip. Yeah, these, these matte ones doesn't have a scent. This is very purpley. Let's see this one. Ooh, a sugar lip. Definitely need that. This one here is peppermint, and this is like a lip balm slash lip scrub. I like this package. It's very heavy. It's very sturdy. It feels like great quality. Sugar lip scrub, better not bitter. I believe that's just like their motto. Everything says better not bitter. It's in a glass jar. It's like a nice frost, just like the lip glosses. Mmm. You can definitely see the chunks of the scrub. The peppermint is so strong, it smells so good. I totally forgot about this. Do it for the gram. I think that's why I purchased this. So this is a palette. I don't know what kind of palette this is. This is, again, a surprise because it's been so long. I don't remember what I got. I was actually upset because a lot of their products were out of stock. So I just got what I could get my hands on. So it says, do it for the gram. <gasps> I'm so in love with this. It says, got milk? <laughs> doesn't have a mirror which is definitely okay look at the colors look how big the pans are so it says eyeshadow palette will have you begging gimme gimme s'more with 12 foil matte and dual chrome powder eye cream shades so I don't have a lot of dual chrome so this is gonna be a great addition to my collection they're so pretty I can't wait to use this what else do we have nothing else as you guys can clearly tell, it's a totally different day. I say hi. So as you guys can tell, it's a different day. I don't know what it was. Definitely was in a weird mood. I don't know if it was time of the month. I just wasn't feeling it. So actually, when I finished doing the unboxing, again, that was like totally my real honest reaction when I was unboxing it. I literally applied on the makeup Actually, I only went as far as just eyeshadow. So I did eyeshadow look. I didn't like it. I wiped it off and wiped it on, 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 off. I literally tried three or four times and it definitely wasn't the makeup, of course. It was just me. I was having like a weird makeup block. I don't know what it was. Like I said, maybe time of the month. I was just in a weird mood. And clearly, it just wasn't my day. So... Today's a new day and we're just gonna start right over. So let's go ahead and reintroduce the brand. This is Beauty Bakery. Their packages is so cute. It's colorful, it's very girly. So my brows are done, I primed my eyelids off camera and let's start off with this palette. Too bad that this doesn't have a mirror, which I'm kind of upset about, but at the same time, it's okay because I have other handheld mirrors and this large one in front of me, which is totally fine. So this is Do It For The Gram palette. So cute, very creative with the gram as an Instagram, but it's a cracker. Again, everything's gonna be food related. One thing I disliked about this is that it doesn't have any names of the shadows on the back, so you would have to go online to figure it out. So I'm just gonna start off with this color in the crease. So far the colors are really creamy. They are powdery. You don't see too much falling out. It's like very minimal, like in most shadows. I'm actually really interested when I'm applying on the dual chrome to see how much will fall out. This blends really nicely. No streakiness so far. And I'm sorry, my dog child is super needy today and I don't know what it is. Yesterday he was like super nosy. Today is like super needy and he has to be like right next to me. You know how it is, they have to bring like their toy next to you. It's just like so cute. The second shade I'm gonna try out is this dark brown. It looks like a really red or warm type of Kinda brown. Kinda sucks that this palette doesn't have a black. But then again, I have so many palettes with some matte blacks or just regular black shadows that I can always add to it. So it's not that big of a deal, but it would have been nice with a black so that way you can kind of darken the colors if needed but I could understand the colorful theme or maybe they just want it to be unique and not have a black in their palette this color so far doesn't seem as pigmented I feel like I have to really build it I feel like it kind of blends out a slight bit after 
kind of packing it in that corner. But then again, that's where the black will come in to darken the shadows if needed. I don't know if I want to go for like a purpley color. Let's see. Oh, that's not even a purpley color. Oh yeah, that's the one color that's like brown but has like a purple tone to it. Oh, that's a pretty one too. Oh no, this is the color. This is the one that's like green but it has like a purpley brown. That's just like a lighter version. Ooh, I wonder if we did this with that on top? That kind of is deceiving, right? This one looks like it would be green, but actually isn't. This one you would think it's like a mixture of those two. It's a surprise color, guys. <laughs> wow, that one's very pigmented. Hmm, I wonder if I just did all browns, but I really want to try this gold one too. Let's see. Wow, that's just like so bright. Before deciding on a color, I'm gonna go ahead and cut crease my lids a slight bit just applied a little bit of concealer to do a cut crease. I didn't want to apply too much concealer because this is so pigmented already. I feel like I don't need to have such a strong base underneath. I jump into this color here. Just going to use a flat shadow brush and I made sure I tap out the excess because I don't want any fallouts on my cheeks. And I'm just going to lightly pat it onto the lid space. This is very pigmented guys. This is a very pretty color, guys. I actually never used dual chrome shadows before. I don't know what I've been waiting for, but basically this is some good stuff. I'm just going to intensify the outer corners because I'm trying to stay away from not using anything else because I really want to just try this product. And I'm just going to add that blue just on the outer corners. I'm gonna work on my lashes and I'll be right back. Kind of bummed out that they didn't have much complexion for me to choose from and purchase. And plus they were out of stock on a lot of their products, which is a good thing. But even till date, I still check on their website to see if it's available and they're sold out. So I'm gonna still look. In the meantime, I'm gonna use their blender that I purchased. After damping it, it's very soft and spongy feeling. So let's see how this blends out. So far this blends out really nicely. Just like a regular beauty blender or sponge would, this does have a soft squishiness to it, but it's firm where it picks it up and basically very controlled of how I'm applying the product. It's not firm and hard like a silicone sponge is. You know those silicone sponge? I think it's called like Super Nano. Could be wrong on that name, but I'll go ahead and type it down here once I find out. That is actually like a half silicone and sponge that it has like a weird plastic hard um, coat to it, which I dislike. This is not as hard as a Real Technique sponge. That one's a pretty tough and dense firm sponge. This is kind of in the same category as Beauty Blender, which is really soft and squishy and blends really well. Wonder if I'm even this color. Okay, I'm gonna use this one. This is N40. I normally use G40, which is golden. And I knew that I lost my tan because, you know, I haven't been out, but we've been camping lately because that's like the best thing to do right now. Plus it's safe, social distancing. We make sure that we're not around people or we're not going in crowds. So I did gain some color, which is a great thing. I'm hoping this color will still suit me. So this color still works for me, which is not bad. I'm still gonna add bronzer, so if it needs a little bit of help, it's going to. But using this sponge is pretty seamless. I have to say, this is a good dupe as a beauty blender. Beauty blenders are like my number one go-to sponges. They even have like small ones that you can buy. And I think Beauty Bakery does offer small ones too. So I did my bronzer off camera. Let's go ahead and work on the powder. I'm hoping hoping this color isn't too light. I did purchase this before I got a little color, but it did say it's yellow. It just looks a little lighter than yellow. I'm hoping it's just not too white under the eyes. I'm just going to take that sponge. I kind of think it's too light. not too light. I have to say it's really, really soft. 
I'm gonna add a little bit more of that blue. So I left that blue just in that crease. I'm gonna use that same transition color just to soften out the blue. Although this is a very metallic-y kind of finish, I actually really do like it. I'm gonna bump it up a bit and I'm gonna use a blue liner from Sephora Collection on my lower lashes. Add a little bit of that blue shadow. The main event, <laughs> lip scrub. I have really dry lips in general, but I'm gonna use this peppermint. It smells so good. I'm gonna play it safe. I'm gonna use Ginger Snap. This is like a staple color that I like to use. Anything in the terracottas, browns, brown nudes, anything. It's just so pretty. I like them kind of slightly orangey, but not too bright. And this is like literally up my alley. This applicator is really nice. It has a hole right in the middle. So I like that because when you're applying it on, you don't have so much product. It kind of removes it. So you don't like plop on like a whole bunch. This is a raindrop with a nice little pointed tip. So you can use as a liner, but it also has a flat and angled applicator so it's easy to glide oh on. My, God. my dog just like scratches the door to open and then I open it and he like doorbell ditches me. You doorbell ditched me at first. <laughs> this color is so pretty guys. It is a matte lip so it's gonna be matte but um, because my lips are a little bit on the drier side it's kind of picking up on some little flaky skins. So I'm gonna use this guy here. This is a lip gloss topper and guys, it smells so good. Oh my God, do you smell it? You wanna smell it? See, my dog likes it too. It literally smells like a donut. Mmm, it makes me wanna eat a muffin now. This is a very nice color because you can literally wear this alone or as a topper. After applying this on, it's a little bit more fluid looking. And this is the look I came up with using Beauty Bakery's makeup. I hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing and try on video with me. I hope they get to replenish their items soon because I'm excited to make another purchase with them. As always, I'll put everything down in the info box for you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!